Hi guys, I'm back. Today I bring to you this thing, this thing, this knockoff console, the PVP station light 3000. And don't you forget the 3000 crash mine over mutant Mario. Okay, that doesn't make sense. So why did I get this? Why did I bother getting this? It's because my niece and nephews are getting bored at home and I want to avoid giving them smartphones because they tend to get addicted to those smartphones those damn smartphones it's the it's, it's you know what I mean if you have kids I don't have kids those are my niece and my nephews but if you're around kids and you give them smartphones they will get addicted to it and when you take away the smartphone from them, they'll cry. So I bought this in hopes that that this thing can distract them. Okay. So let's just open this. Yeah, I'm a good uncle. Not really a good uncle. Because I bought them something so cheap <laughs> to play with. Not, I'm not going to get them something expensive just for them to break an hour later. If they're gonna break something, they're gonna break something cheap, right? So let's unbox this. What you get in the box? You get the PVP station itself. Mm. Cheap filling, plastic key, of course. You get the user's manual, which you don't have to bother reading this. This thing just plays NES games. It's just NES on a chip. I'm sorry about the reflection there. Mm, I don't think you want to read this. It's nothing much. Um, you have the video out. Yes, this thing can do video out. You can poke this here and then poke the other end to the television. Alright, I think that's self explanatory. USB cable. What is this? Mini? Micro? I think this is mini. To charge the thing because it uses it uses a rechargeable battery rechargeable battery here here it is it says Game Boy Advance there I'm not sure if this is a Game Boy Advance battery I doubt it maybe a Game Boy Advance SP who knows I don't have a Game Boy Advance SP to compare and you get a game cartridge which is fake okay what I mean by fake is you'll find out later when I turn on the system okay let's turn on the system let's install the battery first this is how you install it unfortunately it does not take AA or double A's mm, AA or double A's come on it doesn't take triple A's all right okay let's just orient the battery plus to plus, minus to minus power button there the video output cartridge 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 port buttons uh, d-pad what is this? reset select start the volume rocker no, I like this I like this kind of volume rocker volume control it's much easier to control this rather than using software just to control the volume so let's turn this on or without before we turn this on let's just peel off this screen protector because it's bothering me because it's scratchy mm. yeah there you go flick it let's turn it on so this is the menu let's Turn up the volume a bit. Can you hear that? So you are greeted with this menu. Action game. Fighters game. Sports game. Puzzle game. Racing game. And shoot game. So let's just start with action game. I think after you select what kind of games you want, you press any of this button, I guess. Yeah, no, this one. Alright. For this are the games that are pre-installed Super Mario Crash 1942 Angry, Angry Birds Alright, Challenger 
Chubby Chirub, Super Mario Brothers, Flappy, Flippo, Gal, Gradius. I think there's a bunch of games here, there's a lot of games. I think there will be repeats. There you go, there's the repeat already. Super Mario. There you go, Flippo. 1942. So there's not really 900,000 plus games in this thing. I think it's just 80 games and they just repeat and repeat and repeat. Okay, uh, I think you get the idea. So let's just try one of them, right? Action game. Let's try... Okay, you have to try Mario. Start. Okay, it's very hard to do this well. Okay, let's jump, let's jump. It's a short jump. This is a long jump. Oh, this is the turbo jump. Okay. They have turbo buttons here. There you go. Mm. Seems fun. This was fun when I was a kid. It's still fun now, I have to admit. Let's see what my nephew and nieces will think about this. Okay, I bought another one for my niece. This one will be for my nephew. Mm, I think they will. Let's see, they play a game where you don't actually, where, where, you, where the game does not help you. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? You know, games nowadays, smartphone games, Android games, they just rely on touch. And then the game plays itself. So, kids have the perception or the idea that they're good at a game when it's actually the game is fooling them. The game is fooling them that they're winning so that you will buy more in-game purchases, in-app purchases. Whereas games like this, you have to rely on your skills. Your skills with the D-pad, your skills with the buttons, alright? So, I would like to see how my nephew and niece would like to play this kind of game. Where the game is not really helping you. Where you have to control the game. Okay, let's just try another game and we'll end this video. Maybe it's from some other categories. Maybe racing. Maybe one one of each, right? Okay, let's see fight the game. Super Chinese? What the Muscle Karateka ER Kung Fu sounds fun. I suck at this. Just beat this fat fuck. <laughs> Die, fat boy. Okay, I'm bored. Let's just go to another category. Sports game. Again, I forgot. Baseball, tennis, golf. Circus Charlie. So being in a circus is a sport. Alright. That's okay. I used to like to play this game when I was uh, when I was younger. I guess it was simple. I just have to jump. It's a very simple game. You know this was way back before smartphones and tablets and gaming PCs. Even a game like this can fascinate me. If you heard if you hear the dogs barking, it's just my neighbor's dog. Damn dog keeps barking for no reason. Okay. Circus Charlie. Um, so let's try shoot game. Shoot game we have Contra, Frontline, Galaga, Defender, Exerion. Super Contra, Frontline, what the hell is that? Battle City, yes, this is one of my favorites when I was younger. I like playing this, Battle City. Battle City was very, it's just a simple game, you just, you're just playing a tank. You're just playing a tank and you're shooting, you're shooting your enemy. It works. This was fun. 
this was this was really fun when I was a, when when we were younger. If you can relate, if you're in eighties, if you're born in the eighties, you you can relate. Oh my tank, my tank is gone. Okay, should we shoot Let's move on to racing game. Road fight. Ah, I like this game. This is another one of my favorites when I was growing up when I used to have somewhat of a clone console as well how do I play this? it's okay, okay let's drive the button is not is this a demo mode? oh yes it is god damn it okay let's play <laughs> Move! What? There you go. That's the button for gas. Let's just drive like a maniac. What is this? Power up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, that that's enough. <laughs> the racing game. How about puzzle games? What's inside puzzle games? After Mario, Tetris, Donkey Kong. Do Donkey Kong? Balloon Fight, Binary Land, Bird Week, Bomberman, Bomb Sweeper, what else? Mm, not much. Yeah, not much. I think let's just go with Bomberman. Because I used to like this game as well. You just put the bomb here and hide somewhere. Put the bomb here. Oh, 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 I'm stuck and I'm dead. I think, I, I think this, I think this thing might be fun. It will be fun for my nephew and niece for a while. And then when they get their smartphones and tablets back, they will quickly ignore this, abandon this, just like all of us. Let's try Angry Birds. Okay, Angry Birds on a nest on a chip. Right, so how does this play? Let's just start. I don't think this... I don't think this plays like Angry Birds. Oh, this is a hack of another game. That's what it is. It's a hack of another game. Oh my god. How did I die? That was stupid. What? What? Is this a hack of which game? I'm not sure. I'm supposed to do this? <laughs> okay, I give up. I can't play Angry Birds on NES. Okay, so... Let's take a look at what's inside the cartridge. Let's turn this off for a while. Let's install the cartridge. So this is eight 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 in one. Eight hundred thousand eight eight hundred eighty thousand and eighty eight. How do you say that? I don't know. Maybe I'm dumb. So with this one you go straight to the menu. You can't even select anything. The games are basically you see that you see that nibbles the game basically repeats itself so there's no such thing as eight hundred thousand games no such thing let's just play one right let's just play nibbles for shits and giggles let's start what do I play this this is just snake Okay, I died. So remember when I said that this cartridge was fake? You know how I know it's fake? Easy. You remove the cartridge and you still can run the game. So that is not supposed to happen. When you remove a cartridge, the game should stop and freeze. 
so basically this is not a real cartridge this is just a jumper this is just a jumper that tells the machine to access which game library that's basically it when you reset the whole system you go back to this menu of 900,000 games all right so in conclusion I would not recommend this for someone who is a retro gamer I would definitely recommend it for someone who has kids who just want to get them a simple toy the people who want to you know keep the keep their kids away from smartphones people who want to reduce the dependency on smartphones people who want who want their kids to reduce their dependency on smartphones because I've, I've seen some things I've seen my nephew and niece throwing tantrums because they, they didn't get their smartphone fixed like they're like they're like druggies they're like junkies right so hopefully my nephew and niece will like this I hope they will get distracted for a while in conclusion for your kids this is okay if you're a retro gamer if you're curious yeah why why the hell not just play it for a while and give it to your kids to your nephew to your niece to your cousins whatever so i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you in the next one thumbs up if you like it thumbs down if you dislike it comment subscribe and of course thank you for watching bye bye